Why would she make calls out the blue? Hey guys, what's up? At Busty Kid Dev back here. Sorry guys, I know it's been almost even a month, so it's kind of been a while. No tutorials, uh, I guess I've been really busy. I was on break for a little bit, but mostly just been really busy with school. But today I got an awesome tutorial for you guys, so keep watching. Alright, so basically what I'm teaching you guys is I'm going to be teaching you an Xcode tutorial on how to make an image fall down the screen. So that's kind of like um, you got like a little image at the top of your iPhone and it'll just fall down the screen. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's open up our Xcode. We'll create a new project and um, obviously a view based application usually. Uh, let's call it um, uh, image falling. I don't know. You can, you can call it anything. As always, if you've already had a project that you just want to add this to, even better, just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start open that, make it nice and big. Now open up your classes and your resources, because those are really the only things we're going to be using. Another thing, I'm going to have to go find an image, but I'll do that in a sec. First thing we want to do, go ahead and open up the viewcontroller.h, as you will find here to the left. Also, I know if you've noticed, I'm not using the new Xcode, uh, the new version 4.3, but I'm sure this will work on the new one. Um, so go ahead and click right after this bracket, enter a couple times, and two things we're going to type in. One is we're going to have the UI image view, because that's the image that we're typing in, and make sure you don't do just a UI image, UI image view is what you want. And I'm going to call that goop. Not that it really matters, just you'll see when I find my image. Uh, it kind of looks like goop. I made it in like 20 seconds, so it's nothing special. Uh, the next one is timer, and technically you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it move object timer. I recommend for your first time calling it that because um, what I'm going to show you when we're actually doing a little bit of the coding is going to have to do with that, and if you don't type it in like this, you're going to have to change it, and it might be a little more complicated. And uh, lastly for here, we're going to do an app property. Non-atomic retain, of course, as usual, and IB outlet, UI image view, image view, and make sure you just call it the same exact thing as you did before. So uh, asterisk goop, make your spell exactly the same. Okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and search my computer for a little image I called goop. Uh, okay, perfect. But what I need to do, I need to show all, I guess, because I have to drag it in. I'll just take any of these, I guess it doesn't really matter. Save it into my destinations folder, and as you can see, it's right there. Don't laugh at me. I know it's crappy. I made it in, like, 20 seconds. Okay, now that we got this, let's go ahead into the XIBR view controller. I'll drag it in. I'm definitely going to make it a little bit stroller, str um, smaller, so my tools, I'll just make that scale to fit. That is perfectly fine. And now what you want to do is first you want to connect it before you do this. We're connected to your files owner and we're going to click goop or whatever you called it before. Now what you want to do is I recommend clicking it and dragging it to where you can't see it. So as you can see right now it's right above but when I unclick all right, now it's gone. So you can't see it and um, the reason we're doing that is because when you actually build and run with the app you won't be able to see it at the start but then it will come into the screen, come into the frame, whatever you want to call it. I right, close that and we're going to go back in. Now we're going to just do a last bit of coding in the viewcontroller.m. Now what I want to go do, I'm going to be using our void view to download. I'm just going to copy and delete it because I'm just going to bring it to the top of the code just to make it easier. So I'm going to paste it back right here. And right after super view did load, we're going to type in a couple of things. We're going to type in um, move object timer dash bracket ns timer space Scheduled time with interval, and then um, this is really when you're going to decide how the speed is going to go. So you guys can decide that later. I'm just going to give you, I don't know, a, I mean, a decent amount of speed. So obviously you can experiment with what you want. And now, so I've put that in. I know you're thinking I'm going to have to use this, but actually no, just delete the rest of that because there are a couple of other things we're going to have to type in instead. So this is target, and then uh, under target we're going to type in self. So then another space selector. And there, we're going to type in at selector. All right, I didn't do that. And then we're going to go ahead and do one of these. Just move object. You'll see right now it just looks black like any other text in here. But you'll see in a second after we do a little bit more that it'll turn greenish, bluish, or whatever you want to say. Once you've done that, go ahead and type in user info. Exactly how I've spelled it. Nil. And repeats. Yes, because we do. That is correct. 
I close that and finish it with a semicolon. And actually, I forgot right under this, right here, do an at the size, and we're just going to synthesize that goop. That way, it'll actually work. All right, so we're good for the view to download. Now, we're actually going to make our own uh, void right now. So, we're going to do a dash void. I'm sure you know how to do this. Um, and then, this is actually what we're calling move object. And as you'll see, our other one up here, right after this, will um, will we'll now be real. Sorry, I put in the wrong image right there. Okay, now once we've done that, we're going to have to type a little bit in here. Goop dot center equals C G point. Make, uh, well, yeah, it's there. And right in here, we're going to type in goop um, dot center dot x. I put in the comma already. And in this one, we're going to type in goop, whoops, coop, no. Goop dot center um, dot y, and now just um to make sure it's like level within the screen, we're gonna just put in the plus sign, place um, space six, and it have, yeah, it already has um two brackets over there to close it. I'm just gonna make sure it's working. All right, good. Go ahead and end it with a semicolon, end the whole thing like that, and uh, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and build and run, and it should work. Um, hopefully it worked as well. The only things you're really going to need to change if you want to make it your own, obviously change the image and this time right here, and then you should be all set. So, yeah. Just wait for that thing to load. Alright, here it is. Build successful, which is good. And now look closely, because as soon as it opens... Aha! That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, um, we didn't, uh, make it, um, happen multiple times because that would use, um, you'd have to be using a randomized system, so unfortunately if you missed it right there, whatever it is, I'll just go ahead and build it one more time so you can see it again. But, um, maybe in another tutorial, I'll make a randomizing tutorial so you can make it fall here once, and then right after it's done, it will fall here. Alright, last time, just so you can see, make sure it went down. Make sure you change up the speed. I'll actually do that right now. Instead of making this 0.03, let's go with like 0.08. Whatever we're building on this time. See how different it is. Yeah, obviously it's a lot slower. I wouldn't recommend doing this because you can see it kind of like the pixels, it doesn't look as good. But I would recommend um, really small numbers because the smaller you get, the faster it is. So maybe like 0.1. Actually, this might be wicked fast, but I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, that was really fast, but you get the point. Uh, I hope you experiment. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff. Hit me up with some feedback. Love feedback. Sorry I haven't been posting any videos, but here's one. More to come. Thanks, guys.